What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix a soft bricked 3DS that got bricked after using Luma Updater. So if your console is doing this, flashing a blue light and then turning back off, I'm going to show you how you can easily fix it. Do not worry, you are not permanently bricked. Keep watching. The first option you can try to fix this problem is open up your SD card on the computer. I'm using micro SD management, but you're obviously going to have to insert your SD card physically into the computer if you do have a soft brick. And what you're going to do is look on the root of your SD card and you'll see boot.firm.back. Now the first thing that you're going to want to try to do, take this boot.firm, go ahead, delete it. And then take the boot.firm.back and go ahead and erase the dot back and so it's a boot dot firm again. So now that you've done that, go ahead and safely eject your SD card and then reinsert it into your system and tell me if it boots up or not because it probably should. If for some reason that doesn't work, then there's one other option we can do. We just have to head over to GitHub and download something from Aurora Wright. So we're over here on Aurora Wright's GitHub under Luma3DS. I'm going to put a link to this in the description. So most people that use Luma Updater that were on 7.1, the problem is you're running boot 9 strap 1.0. And the higher versions above 7.1 do not run on boot 9 strap 1.0. They only run on boot 9 strap 1.2. So you're going to have to download Luma3DS version 7.1 here. So go ahead and download that and I'll meet you guys down in your downloads. We're here in the downloads. Go ahead and right click Luma 3DS and go ahead and extract it to here. Now you should see a boot.firm. Go ahead and take this boot.firm and drag it onto the root of your SD card. And when it asks you to replace the file and destination, do that. So now that you've copied over the new boot.firm, you can go ahead, safely eject your SD card and try to boot up your 3DS again. And it should boot up onto Luma 7.1. Now, to go on from here, I'm going to put two links in the description. I'll show you those real quick here. We're over here on the 3ds.guide, and I've put a link to updating B9 strap inside of the description. So go ahead and click that if you're still running Luma 7.1. And after you finish this, you'll be running Boot 9 strap 1.2 and Luma 8.0 or higher. I'll also put a link in the description for ARM9 loader hacks to boot 9 strap in case you happen to still be on ARM9 loader hacks. Now, if you're on Luma 7.03 or lower, then you're still on ARM9 loader hacks and you'll have to follow this before you can update to the newest version of Luma. So if you are still on ARM9 loader hacks and you accidentally used the updater and got a soft brick, what you're going to have to do is go over to Aurora Wright's GitHub and instead of getting 7.1, you're going to have to get whatever version you were on before. So let's say you were on 7.0.3, then you would go ahead and you would download this one and replace ARM9 loader hacks dot bin on your SD card. Now I assume mostly everyone was up on 7.1, so the first part of this video should fix your problem. But if you happen to be on ARM9 Loader Hacks, at least now you know what to do. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have now unsoft bricked your Luma 3DS custom firmware device. And now you can keep playing. Catch you guys next time. Peace.